Hey guys, it's Alicia. Welcome to another What's for Dinner on WW. My husband and I are on WW Green, but as always, I will include the points for not only the green plan, but the blue and purple plans as well for these meals. I will also have information as far as ingredients, instructions, and points on all of these meals down in the description box below of this video. And if it's a recipe I've done a previous video on, I will have a link to its video down in the description box as well. So let's get started and see what we had for dinner this week on WW. First up is broccoli feta pasta, along with some oven baked tilapia. Tilapia just starts off with some of these skinless, boneless, frozen fillets. I take them, rinse them off, and then on a cookie sheet that I've lined with foil, I go ahead and spray that with a little bit of olive oil and then just lay the fillets on that. And then spray the tops of them with a little more olive oil, put a little bit of lemon juice on them, some lemon pepper, granulated garlic, and finally some dried parsley. And then I bake these at 400 for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they reach an internal temperature of 145. For the broccoli feta pasta, I've got eight ounces of whole wheat spaghetti boiling over there in that pan. And then in this pan, I've got some olive oil that I've heated up and I've added in some garlic and I'm just gonna let that cook in there until it's fragrant. And then I'm going to add in my broccoli and I'm gonna let that cook in there until it is just slightly softened. Once your pasta is al dente, you're gonna drain it and reserve just a little bit of the water and add the pasta to a large bowl. And then once your broccoli is cooked, you're gonna add that to your pasta and you're gonna stir that in there real well. Next, you're gonna add in some reduced fat feta and the zest of one lemon. A little bit of salt and then you're gonna mix everything together real well. Now here's where that reserved water comes in. I usually find that I do need to use a little bit of this. I think this time I used about a quarter cup and that just helps to keep the pasta from being too dry. So that's the point of that. I usually try to reserve about a half cup, but as I said, I use probably a quarter cup of it this time. So just mix that all together and then it is done. And here is dinner tonight. That tilapia is a four ounce piece of fish. So on green, it's gonna be two points and it's gonna be zero on blue and purple. As for the pasta, that is a serving of that, which is about a one and a half cups. It makes four, roughly one and a half cup servings. The points on the pasta are gonna be eight for green and blue and only two on purple. Now I went ahead and added a little red pepper flakes to mine here. I used to just add them to the whole amount, but my son does not like them. They're too hot for him. So if I want him to eat this at all, I have to omit that from the overall and just add it to the individual servings like I did here. But our overall total for dinner tonight was 10 points on the green. It's going to be eight on blue and only two on purple. Next up is spaghetti with a side salad. We make this quite a bit just because we enjoy it so much and it's actually really easy to just throw together and makes quite a bit so it lasts a while too. This starts with a large pot and a pound of lean ground turkey. That's 93% lean, 7% fat. To that we add some chopped onions and chopped mushrooms. I have quite a bit of mushrooms there. I don't typically use that many but I had a lot on hand so I went ahead and threw those in there. And then I just cook all of this together until those veggies are softened and that ground turkey is cooked. Then I add in some garlic, mix that in there and let that cook for about a minute or so. And then I just pretty much dump everything in, starting with some fresh ground pepper, some ground cumin, chili powder, oregano, basil, a little bit of stevia sweetener. And then I just mix it all together real well before I add in my diced tomatoes and tomato paste. And I add water to each one of my tomato paste cans. Give that a good stir to get all that out of there. And then finally, I add in some black olives. I stir all this together really well, and then 
I let this continue to cook on a very low heat. Now, if you wanted to eat it at this point, you could, but I like to let mine simmer for an hour or two at least. This time I let it simmer even longer than that, so I went ahead and put a lid on it. When we were ready to eat, I boiled a pound of spaghetti and added it to it. All right, and here is dinner tonight. Got a salad over there that I'm gonna be using some of this Bull House Farms Classic Ranch yogurt dressing and dip on. I'm gonna use about a serving of that, which will be two points. And then the spaghetti, I've got two cups of spaghetti here. Now the last time, or the last couple times that I showed this, I, I was saying that it was six points a serving, or six points a cup. And when I was looking on my WW app to double check that, it's now saying five. So I either said that wrong in the previous videos when I said six a cup, or WW has changed something and made something less points. And that'll happen occasionally. Something will change points on the app, either higher or lower. But this is now saying that it's five points a cup. I've got two cups for 10 points. So 10 points for the spaghetti and two points for the dressing is gonna make dinner tonight. For me on green, 12 points. It's also gonna be 12 points on blue, but on purple, the spaghetti is only two points a cup for four points, which would make this dinner six points on purple. Next up is a burrito bake. I absolutely love this one. I've been making it for years and it's just definitely a comfort food for me. So I make this quite a bit. It starts off with a pound of lean ground turkey that you're gonna just cook up in a large frying pan along with some chopped up red onion. And in a small bowl where that turkey and onion are cooking, you're gonna take a cup of HeartSmart Bisquick, quarter cup of water, and a can of fat-free refried beans, and you're gonna mix all of them together real well until they look like this. Once your meat and onions are cooked, you're gonna add in some taco seasoning, a can of Rotel, and then you're gonna stir that up real well. And once you have it well mixed, you're just gonna set it aside. And then in a 13 by nine inch pan, you're gonna spray it with a little cooking spray and take your bean mixture and evenly spread that on the bottom. Like that. And then you're gonna take your meat mixture and evenly spread that on top. And then I usually kind of pat mine down just a little bit. Now you're gonna take a cup of part skin mozzarella and evenly sprinkle that on there along with a cup of reduced fat Mexican style blend cheese. You're gonna get that all spread on there evenly and then you're gonna bake this in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes until it looks like this. Here's a serving of that, which I have topped with a little bit of fat-free Greek yogurt and some green onions. Zero points for either one of those. Now a serving of this is a sixth of that total casserole and it is gonna be 10 points on all three colors. I also had a salad with this that I forgot to show and a couple points worth of dressing. The same dressing that I used when I had the salad with my spaghetti. So 10 points for the burrito bake and two points for the salad dressing for a total of 12 points for dinner and that would be on all three colors. But that is what we had for dinner on WW this week. As usual, I hope this was helpful to you guys and maybe gave you some ideas for yourself. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.